One lap from the stand, 30 laps of Limeland, late model fever, $2,200 to win. Wind them up off of turn four. Back in turn one, the 05 car, that's Eddie Honshell with a lead a, by a slim margin over the six car, Jesse James Lay from Union, Kentucky. So it's Ohio, Kentucky, one, two off of turn four. Honshell and Jesse James Lay, there's your leader, the 05 car, Honshell. James Lay still working on the bottom end with the 25 car, that's Randy Woodling from Warsaw, Indiana. So we have on the racetrack now, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana running one, two, three. Ed Honshell back to one and two, now takes a shot from the six car. That's Jesse James Lay from Union, Kentucky. That gentleman there finished six in the historical big one, the $100,000 late model show earlier in the season at Eldora Speedway. Pretty interesting stats as he takes a peek inside of Honshell off of turn two. And now a larger peak, door to door off of turn four. Make that bumper to bumper. Honshell refusing the challenge from the six car. Jesse James Lay, who takes another peak at Honshell in one and two. Great racing up front, the six car alongside the 05 off of turn four. Honshell once again closes the door. Eddie Honshell from Middletown, Ohio, taking the heat from Jesse James Lay and the 25 car, Randy Woodling. Great show up front as Lay draws alongside Honshell, fending them off for now, and I stress for now. Eddie Honshell from Middletown, Ohio, driving a Rayburn Chevrolet, a four-time Whitewater Speedway champion, the Florence Speedway champion back in 84, and now taking another shot from the six car. Also, Honshell was the UMP Ohio State champion back in 1990. 21-year veteran Ed Honshell leading for now. The six car now alongside. Great racing there off of turn four. Honshell once again slams the door on Jesse James Lake. The six car who's alongside once again in one and two. Great race up front. $2,200 to win. The Lima Land late model fever is on fire here at Lima Land Speedway. Compliments of Earl Baldus and Ken Langhouse. Racing action continues. We've gone green flag so far. Pure green, no yellows. And the racing has been spectacular. The B1 is on the move. John Lawhorn on the move now, the B1. Check it out, there he is. The B1, the red car you see there, high. He has come all the way from outside of roll five, the 10th starting position. The B1 of John Lawhorn out of Phillipsburg, Ohio, in a hurry. And all over the sixth car of Jesse James Lay, back in three and four. Your leader in trouble, the 05 car. What a race up front, a three, four car shuffle for the top spot. It's Honshell now working the bottom inside of the B1 of Lawhorn, who drives to the outside of Honshell off of turn two. Your new leader is the B1 of John Lawhorn. Off of turn four, Lawhorn. Back to one and two, the 1981 Eldora late model champion. Won the late model four crown USAC show back in 87. Also registering three Johnny Appleseed late model wins at Eldora Speedway as well. That's John Lawhorn from Phillipsburg, Ohio. Your leader in the B1, the 05 is still running second. There's a good look at your leader. Caution flag on the speedway. Check it out, you see there a good shot of it. A wheel off and I bet it belongs to the eight car. Indeed it does. That's a Hoosier racing tire without a wheel. Move the camera up further on the banking. You'll see there the eight car, Shane Yoder, very, very slow on the speedway. Yoder missing, not the right or the left rear wheel, but the left rear tire, and that'll take the stagger away in a hurry. Yoder retires. John Lawhorn continues to set the pace up front. About a three, four car advantage over the 05 of Ed Honshell. Caution 
caution on the speedway there in turn two. A couple of cars crossed up down there on the bottom. That's the one, the three car. Three car in trouble down there with the 35 car. The 35 car, there you see on the screen, that's Ron Miller from Toledo, Ohio. Miller builds his own chassis, builds his own race cars. A proven chassis by Ron Miller race car has just proved to spin here in turn two. As we go back to green flag racing, the six car, Jesse James looking for room down on the bottom. Your leaders back in three and four, it's still Longhorn working the high side. Halfway home, 15 laps on the board, 15 to go for John Lawhorn and Eddie Honshell, the top two. Ed Honshell very close to the steel auto retaining wall off of turn two as he continues to favor the high side here at Limeland Motor Speedway running second. There the 05 car. The 05 of Ed Honshell. Your leader is John Lawhorn. Lawhorn now beginning to distance himself from Honshell. About five car advantage for the leader. There you see a five car advantage back to three and four. So the B1 John Lawhorn beginning to run away from Ed Honshell, the 05 car. Further back in the field, moving back, we'll take a look at your third and check the action there off of turn four. That would be the six car, Jesse James Ray in Kentucky. Interesting gentleman, finished sixth. Can you believe it in the historical big one? Of course, that would be the $100,000 dream race earlier on at Eldora Speedway. Significant accomplishment for the 23-year-old talented youngster from Union, Kentucky. There further back behind the six car, the 25 car. And running well is Randy Woodling from Warsaw, Indiana. As he continues to favor the high side here off of turn four. Behind him in the five car, that's Tony Marks in car number five. Marks out of Napoleon, Ohio, the Marks Auto Parts Rayburn Chevy. Mark has recorded two late model feature wins at Oakshade Raceway earlier on in this 94 season. Let's pick your leader up off of turn four in lap traffic. There, the second car on your screen looks to the inside now. That's the B1, and he is indeed running very, very well, trying to put a lap on Hillard Miller in the 53 car. He'll do so. Lawhorn now with about a 10 car advantage over Ed Honshell in the 05 car. Lawhorn, the B1, really hooked up here nicely here this afternoon with laps winding down the B1 of Lawhorn has it all in order. John Lawhorn through turns three and four, still high up on the cushion or whatever's left on this dry and dusty afternoon here on a gorgeous afternoon here at Lima Land Motor Speedway. The all new Lima Land Motor Speedway. Certainly like to thank the good folks from Detailed Construction that made this television broadcast possible. Of course, like to certainly thank all the good folks at Channel 44 who continue to carry the Lima Land Speedway show. Hope they enjoy the product. And once again, thanks so much Channel 44 for carrying the broadcast all season long. It's been a pleasure. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. White flag at the stripe, one more lap for the B1 of John Lawhorn, who is at the moment mixed up in traffic, working around the 16 car of Steve Sabo. One more time in three and four, Longhorn is your leader. Off of turn four, checkered flag for John Longhorn.